A big part of perceiving the world around us is knowing where things are. For example, take little cartoon Jimmy, who's about to cross the street. It's probably important for him to know that the sound of the car is coming from his left, and the reason little Jimmy knows this is because he's able to make a world map of the things around him. He can hear the sound of the woman getting into her car directly to his left, the sound of people talking across the roundabout to his right, and the sound of the car coming in front of him from his left. Little Jimmy knows these things because he can tell where each of these sounds are coming from. The human auditory system uses two types of cues to achieve sound localization. These are monaural cues and binaural cues. This video will focus on binaural or two-eared cues. Binaural cues work by comparing the difference in the intensity or the timing between each ear. These cues work specifically to localize sound along a horizontal lateral axis. As seen by this diagram, sound is placed along a continuous line from left to right. However, this only places sound along that line. If a sound is directly in front of a person, their binaural cues will tell them that the sound is not to the left or the right, but it will not tell them if the sound is in front, behind, above, or below. Binaural cues only tell us where sound is along that axis. There are two types of binaural cues, interaural level difference and interaural timing difference. The first sound cue refers to how you localize sound based on the difference in intensity between your ears. When sound plays to the right or left of you, it is louder and more intense in the ear that is closest to the sound source, and weaker in the ear that is farthest from the sound source. This is because as sound travels through your head, the sound waves get dampened and the intensity level lowers overall. This binaural cue is called the interaural level difference. The second sound cue refers to how you localize sound based on the difference in timing between your ears. When sound plays to the right or left of you, the sound reaches the ear closest to the sound source sooner. This binaural cue is called the interaural timing difference. For both of these cues, depending on how close the sound is to each ear, this could be a relatively big or small difference. For example, if a sound is to the far left of you, the sound would reach your left ear first, and a bit later it would reach your right ear. Versus, if the sound was directly in front of you, the sound would reach both ears at the same time. Similarly, in the first scenario, it would be most intense in your left ear, whereas in the second scenario, there would be the same intensity in both ears. While this difference in timing and intensity would seem like absolutely nothing to us, our brains keep track of the difference between the intensity level and timing of each ear, and then places the sound somewhere on the horizontal axis. As a summary, there are two types of binaural cues which are used to localize sound on a lateral horizontal axis. These binaural cues are called the interaural level difference, which compares the difference in intensity of the sound between each ear, and the interaural timing difference, which compares the difference in the timing of the sound between each ear.